<laughs> Hello, everyone. Yes, this is my mother. Hello. <laughs> um, well, Anne Marie, that was very well said. Love everything you. you have to say. Um, Definitely. But first off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for being here. Whether you've overcome vaginism yourself or are looking to get into treatment, you've made an important step today in overcoming a great hardship in your life. And I would also like to say thank you to Dr. Katz and Dr. Ross for allowing me to have this platform to speak to all of you and share my experience. Because if there's anything I, that I can do to reach someone else, it just brings me the most immense happiness. Um, I wanted to go back to pretty much the time that I realized that I had a problem and it actually did start at a young age. Um, when we all started masturbating and, um, I just knew that, you know, I could not entertain the thought of penetration, like myself doing it to myself. Like there was just the fear is just, ugh, I can't even describe it. Um, just the fact of the unknown and if I was ever going to be able to overcome that. And, you know, like Anne-Marie said, it's very debilitating. It's very, makes you feel broken. You don't feel like a person. I didn't feel like a woman. a woman, like being able to do any of that. Um, you know, fast forward to my first relationship, which actually wasn't until I was 20 years old. You know, I think I suppressed a lot of the issues that I had and didn't really talk about it to anyone. But once I got into my serious relationship, that's when, you know, it comes to, it came to light. And I knew that I needed to try and seek help, even if I didn't know where I was going to turn to. Um, I mean, it obviously, it did cause serious problems for us. Um, and in the beginning, he was supportive and, um, tried to be there for me the best he could, even though he didn't understand what was going on with me. Um, but then that, it grew into anger and, you know, pain and just us both being incredibly upset. <sighs> um, I can remember that it made me even suicidal, you know, and, <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Um, I just I the constant thought of just ending my life like not dealing with this constant pain anymore not having to feel broken all the time you um, wanted to be a normal woman I just wanted to be a normal woman like I said before um and I didn't know how to seek help. You know, I had my mom and she was only pretty much the only person I could talk to besides my boyfriend. But, you know, she was the one that actually bought me a set of dilators at first. And mm -hmm. I remember being so afraid and trying to be hopeful and even just those and then I realized that I couldn't even insert the smallest one myself. So then it turned to having my boyfriend try and insert it for me, maybe take the power out of, you know, me trying to do it myself. And that still didn't work. It was painful. It like hitting a wall again and um, extremely, extremely discouraging. Um, but, you know, I saw a numerous gynecologists who didn't know what to say. And then there was one where I went to a Planned Parenthood where she actually said, 
she actually introduced the word to me for the first time, maybe you have vaginismus. And I was like, what is that? Like, as soon as I went home, I did so much research mm -hmm. and really trying to learn what that word meant because that was the first time that I had heard any type of answer or anything. So fast forward again, I even saw a pelvic floor uh, physical therapist and she used dilators as well. She taught yoga poses, having to like um, release your floor, trying to be less tight. You know, that's, you know, not really the issue. It's all in your anxiety, but it didn't work. So again, the feeling of hopelessness and discouragement and all of that. My mom found the women, the women's um, therapy center in Long Island. And what, we were actually sitting in the pool last summer mm -hmm. when she had the thought, let's just call them on a whim. Let's just see what they say. Let's see if we can get you this treatment. I think you said, can you call? Yeah, I was so nervous. She I like, said, couldn't can even you call? call? I don't want to talk. <laughs> this is so much. Like, I just, I can't. And she was so sweet. She's like, we can see you tomorrow. And I, I talked to Sam and she literally said, I can see you tomorrow. But it was the best. I was filled with so much hope. And, you know, after all that time, you're like, well, maybe it's, it's probably not going to work, but I'm going to try and be hopeful. I cannot explain the experience of having my first consultation, how warm and inviting and, yeah. you know, there's quotes everywhere of being encouraged and just how incredibly helpful and nice Dr. Katz, Dr. Ross, and I even saw um, Lauren for my first appointment. As soon as I got out, I went to my mom. I started bawling my eyes out. She did. Because, you know, after all of that time, after all of that discouragement, all the experiences trying to overcome this, seeing if I can do it myself, I had that little bit of hope again. And I even said to my mom, this is probably not going to work, but I'm going to try to be hopeful. Just get in the car, we're going. <laughs> but I was actually one of those patients that I needed to be put on Xanax um, to have my sessions. And we live in Connecticut and I had to be driven every appointment that I had. Two hours each way. <laughs> and I was fine. so grateful to my family for helping and getting me there and just, you know, like dropping everything so that I could have my appointments. And you know, each You're appointment, each appointment, they teach you basically the lesson of the day or the size of the dilators, right? But after they work with you, it is your job to then do it yourself and get through that obstacle like yourself. And you have homework, you go home and you do it yourself, right? <laughs> I was like, mom, I have to do, do my homework. homework. <laughs> I'm like, all right, go do it. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Uh, but I just want one minute. I it. cannot, I can't even explain what this treatment center has done for me. Like it has literally saved my life. Yep. It has. And I'm so much more open, carefree, and so exhilarated to say that I have a healthy sex life now. I was finally able to have sex with my um, first boyfriend, thank God. Um, and I overcame vaginismus. And if there's anything that I could say to all of you overall is that take the leap, take the leap 
and just dive right in. It is beyond worth it. And no matter where you are in the world, just go, just do it. Like, just go. It honestly, again, it has changed my life. But my mom would like to say a I'll, few words. Just a few. Just I know a, I took a long time. I'm it's sorry. It's all right. I just want to thank okay. you. I just want to thank you for putting that self-confidence back in my daughter, for saving my daughter. Anybody on this call who is like nervous about doing it, I, I, I would have driven her five hours each way. I don't care. They are life savers, life savers. So please just do it. I'm so happy we did it. We called, we just went the next day. We were like, okay, we're going to Long Island. Okay, here we go, you know? And you know, she embraced it. You're nervous. It's fine. It's okay to be nervous. You know, it's a terrible I'm problem. Now. It's, a ter- <laughs> it's a terrible problem. They're wonderful people and they help so much. So please don't, don't think twice about it. They saved my daughter and I can't thank them enough. I'm going to try not to cry. So <laughs> thank you. I don't want to take up any more time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you both so much for <clears throat> being here today. Also being able to say that you also saw Dr. Lauren because you were one of the ones she was able to see. Okay. In between her having three children. <laughs> so. I know she was actually pregnant at the time. She was. She was. There you oh, go. See? Right. But she was the one that got me over the hurdle, like initially. And I, you know, I will always right. So I'm very glad you got to do it. And I hope you saw her throw you a kiss. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. 